Greetings, Ness Daniels here. Uh, this is a well, a little tip on how to manage or create an array quickly using Atom. This is maybe not the fastest way, but it does work. Uh, we all remember that a basic array looks like this. You have your square bracket, apostrophe, string, apostrophe, comma, et cetera, et cetera, all the way to the end. And the last one doesn't get a comma. And then you have a closing square bracket and then semicolon. Now, when we, we can do all of that fairly quickly by using a regular expression and the find and replace uh, on Atom, you can see here I've already added the apostrophe comma at the end. I'm going to add the apostrophe at the beginning. I use the the power, I don't know what the, the hashe, the carrot, what, there's a lot of words for that particular symbol. And what it's going to do is it's going to find the beginning of the sentence, of the string. So I click, uh, make sure you can't see because my, my big head's in the way, but it says use regex down here. I'm going to click find. And It says that there are 33. That's not right, because I only have 17 lines. So it's looking for something else, in which case I'm going to add um, A to Z. It should work. Yeah, it only finds the opening, the, the first lines, which is what we want. 17 results found. And now I'm going to add... Uh, Going to add an apostrophe to the beginning of that. That should this should work. Let's let's hope. No, it didn't work because it wiped out my first letters. So I don't want that. And uh, let's go back. Turn that on. And now we'll try this. And that worked, except now I've got the apostrophes at the end. So let's go ahead and maybe just delete those. It's not elegant, but uh, this is how it's going to work. Now, I might need to put the apostrophe before the dollar sign and find there it is. Those are all of the last apostrophes at the end. I don't want them, so I'm going to replace all. And though this was not necessarily elegant, I do have the beginnings of my array. I delete that, add my square bracket and my semicolon, and at the beginning I add my square bracket. Just like the demonstration here, square bracket, apostrophe, string, comma, square bracket, apostrophe, string, apostrophe, comma, which is exactly how you build your array. Okay, thanks for watching. And again, regular expression is very powerful. You can easily make a mistake, but you can also easily take care of a lot of basic text manipulations using regular expressions. Thank you for watching and happy computing.